Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Chris from Chris's Treasure Chest. Look at what a beautiful day we have here on Sunday. Clear sky. Um, last couple of days was raining like crazy uh, in Milton, Ontario, Canada, and uh, it's finally cleared up and uh, perfect day to sit by the pool and relax. Now we're going to talk about um, Good Till Cancelled. Uh, got a lot of comments back and forth from a lot of viewers, and I spoke to eBay before we get into that. Um, I have one, two, three, four very, very, very cool items that I found uh, that I'm going to make a lot of money off of, um, and I'll tell you what I paid for each of them. Um, it's amazing. Chris's treasure chest is starting to pick some really unique items, and um, I think I'm going to make a few bucks. So anyways, guys, uh, if you hear some banging in the background, it's the my camera girl number two burning a fire <laughs> in her fire pit. Okay. Good till cancel. Yes, it is launched July 1st um, in Canada. We have no control, guys. I called eBay. We spoke to them about it. Um, I know that now when you go to list a fixed item, your only option is good till canceled. Not seven days, not three days, not 10, 15, 30. That's the way it is, and it's renewed at the end of every month. I spoke to eBay about it, and um, it's what the sellers wanted so I don't know if a survey went out I wasn't part of it I've never seen it um, you know and uh, after I got off the phone and read the comments from you guys I started to think about it and you know what uh, for a guy like me now it might be different for you guys or different sellers out there but for me that I have a lot of a lot of seller uh, sorry listings um, it saves me a bunch of time to relist so if I know something's going to come to an end, because you can see, if you go to your listing page, you'll see items ending soon. I'll take a look at them. And if they are not selling and they do f before they flip over or when they flip over, I can get rid of them. I'm losing the listing fee anyways. So it doesn't really matter. Anyways, it is what it is. We're going to have to deal with it. It's just like you putting an ad on Kijiji or Craigslist. You got to cancel it yourself sometime. So. Um, the only way to get around it guys is to do the auction um, Start at minimum price and do a buy now price there and you can do the auction um, For as many days as you want. I think up to I think 30. I don't know. I don't do auctions Anyways, my camera girl smiling at me here. Okay, so let me show you what I found Really 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 cool items first one. I picked this up yesterday for three bucks Knockdown cancer bowling pin. Very, very nice solid wood. I just sold it. I listed it this morning, actually two hours ago. And I just sold it for uh, almost 40 bucks. I paid three bucks. I should have went a little bit higher, I think, but hey, gets a good fast flip. Now, models. You know how I like to buy models. I found this here. This is a company called Dragon. It's from 1996. This is a BMW M3. This is from their exotic car series. I'm going to hold this like this. Grab your phone. Take a look at what the Dragon models sell for. I paid $4.99 for this, guys. These sell for $100 plus. This is brand new sealed inside all the parts. I got two watches right now for $100. Remember this name, Dragon. Dragon models. Very, very expensive. Then... On my way home on Friday night, I stopped in at the Value Village at Winston Churchill and Dundas in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. And I went, I go to the electronics section like I usually do, and I see this baby there. And I'm going to tell you a funny story. Vintage German radio, 40s, 50s, short wave, the whole deal. Bake light front end, all, all bake light and solid wood. Let me tell you about this. It was sitting by the area where the power cord is, or the power bar. So I guess people were plugging it in to see if it worked. So I was like, look at some stuff. I see a couple of guys trying to see if it works. And on the back of this guy's at the bottom, there's a dial that goes from 220, 150, 127 to 110. Well, they had it on 127 volt. So when they plugged it in, it wouldn't work properly. So I took a quarter out of my pocket, I turned the dial, I plugged it in, it worked perfectly. It was $59.99, I don't know if I had a coupon or not. One similar sold for 400, 
I'm looking to get in between three and four hundred for it. I'm not going to be greedy. Um, can I get more? I don't know because this model here, the Polka 613. Actually, the brand is called Gratz. G R A E T Z, and it's a Russian radio. Oh, sorry, a German radio. So keep on a lookout for these guys. They do sell even if they don't work. You can get over a hundred bucks just for the cabinet. People will um, buy them for parts. 100% tubes inside. So, uh, like I said, I think it's 40s, 40s, 50s around there. So I'll let you know what I get for it. And last, it was yesterday, uh, I was at Salvation Army, walking around, couldn't find anything, pretty much picked through. And I always now go to where all the pictures are. I just starting to just go in there, maybe I'll find something. I watched a few um, pickers on YouTube that buy small oil. Uh, paintings uh, and they flipped them for good money and I found this this here I'll show it to you see that guys beautiful frame this is done by an artist Jay Medina and he is a Mexican artist he was born in 1934 um, and his prints sell quite well this is an original vintage it's got a serial number on the back, which I think it belonged to. It was in an art, art gallery auction, or it was in a catalog. Um, it came with a little piece of paper. I don't have it. And it looked like it was, it was advertising at the auction of who the artist was. But in digging deep, um, I only paid $26 for it. So I didn't put a lot of money into it. I'm thinking I'm going to get up to $300. Um, I found one very similar in the same frame at an auction house, and it went between two. It, it was scheduled to go between two and five, and it went for two fifty. Uh, and that was U.S. So I got. I'm gonna hope I get. I hope I get around two hundred. Let's say two hundred dollars, two hundred fifty dollars Canadian. So I'll let you know what happens. But um, there you have it, guys. Some really good finds. Different, unique. Are you gonna find them? I don't know. I just. I want to. I want to put that out there. I want to show you what I'm finding and what I'm selling. That bowling pin, man, I, I, it flipped like that. I wish I could get some more of them. Um, uh, so I'm really excited. Anyways, guys, there you go. That's that's it. For, that's the answer for good until whatever or ended. And, um, you know, it is what it is. We're going to have to adapt to the rules. Um, you know, I'm not going to bail on eBay. That's, I'm doing still very well. Uh, I've got to do a video for, um, for June sales. I haven't done that. Maybe later tonight or tomorrow. Um, I just wanted to show you these four really cool items and uh and see if uh you can find them in your travels out there anyways guys thumbs up if you like the video please subscribe i'm almost at a thousand uh whatever you can do share with your friends uh, help me get there i really appreciate it and um, there's a little logo i'll put it either here or here of my uh my logo if you hit it you'll subscribe instantly until the next video all right guys chris from chris's treasure chest enjoy the beautiful day everybody